Hello everyone. So today we'll start a new series of uh, tutorials. We will call it daily dose of its functions because we'll try to learn new functions every day. I'll try to make a tutorial every day too. So today we will learn three with functions. Okay. So the first one will be floor. The second one will be seal and the third one will be absolute. So these three have somewhat of a similar uh, use cases like the floor and uh, ceiling are like more related. So we will see what these uh, functions uh, do and uh, how to use them in a practical example. So first we will see uh, the floor and seal. So they are kind of related. What the floor does is the floor will take any float value. Uh, it can also be a vector value. So it will take any value and it will it will uh, shift it to the nearest uh, integer but it will shift it to the lower integer. What I mean is if there is a value between 3 and 4 for example let's say 3.2 or 3.6 or 3.9 whatever it may be when we uh, use the floor function it will shift the value to 3 even though 3.9 is like closer to 4 it will shift the value to 3. So it is not exactly rounding up the value but it is flooring the value and uh, seal is uh, similar but it will round up the value to the higher integer so let's see if, uh, how to use it practically uh, in Houdini we'll put a geometry node and we'll put a box and we'll increase the scale like 10 and we'll put attribute triangle and before that, we'll scatter some points, and uh, we'll not relax iteration, so they are more random. So we have a bunch of points. So they are like uh, randomly uh, placed in the uh, in the cube. But if you see the geometry spreadsheet and you can see the y value, they have integer values too, but it is not all integer value. So we'll use our uh, floor and seal. Uh, to convert these decimal values to integer values. So v at p equals or v at p dot y will only convert the y position to uh, integer values is equal to. So in order to use the floor function you can type floor open bracket and you can give a, a float value or a vector value say. In our case it is a float value but we are taking the float value from the vector p dot y so we are fitting the we are like flooring the y value so there should not be any decimal values so this should create something like this we'll see from the side so what has happened is the points have arranged themselves in the integer numbers so where this integer line goes so all the points between these two lines uh, has, has been shifted to the lower line okay so this is what float does it converts this integer values if it is a sorry float values or a vector value uh, into an integer uh, value or an integer vector okay so maybe we can uh, actually uh, use a vector so what we'll do is instead of just the y value we'll floor the entire position we as we at t is equal to floor v at So now we got this grid shaped uh, points because it has arranged itself into integer uh, uh, values on all, on all axes. Okay. So seal is uh, just similar. Instead of the lower integer value, it will go to the higher integer value. So what we can do is we can just copy this one here. And instead of floor, we can use seal. You can see we got like uh, one more layer of points in the top that is because all the points between these two values were shifted to the lower value before but right now they have been shif they shifted to the higher value seal. So you can remember uh, floor and seal kind of like uh, uh, floor and ceiling the floor uh, is the lower and the ceiling seal is the upper. So I hope you understood uh, these two uh, functions. 
So we now you learn about this absolute function. So absolute is like kind of a little bit different. So absolute what it does is it will convert all the negative values. I mean like the values that are in minus to a positive value. For example, if the value is like minus 5, it will become 5. If it is minus 5.4, it will become positive 5.4 and so on. So what should happen like when we put a, when you use a absolute here is all the points in the ground level, like whatever it is like below the ground should be shifted on the opposite, uh, should be mirrored actually in the x axis. So let's put another attribute handle. We'll connect it to the scatter and uh, so we have this bunch of random uh, randomly positioned points. We at t dot first we'll uh, shift only the y uh, position from negative to positive is equal to absolute open bracket v at t dot so if you see all the points that were like under the ground has shifted to the top so they are not deleted actually if you see the number of points 1000 and if you disable it still the number of points are point, point is like thousand so all the points they just shifted to the positive y territory okay. and similarly you can uh, use it for vector also so this absolute function will uh, take either a float or integer or uh, vector line, uh, vector uh, variable so now when we uh, make the entire position as uh, absolute you can see the, the points are scattered only on the the points have been shifted to positive x positive y and positive z so we kind of get this okay. so that is all i hope you like this tutorial and you understood these three functions if you have any queries please comment below also like like my uh, video if you liked it actually and also subscribe uh, to my youtube and patreon i will try to uh, uh, make more tutorials uh, on which functions also generally Houdini. Thank you.